Hello language learners, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are discussing about section 2 of IELTS speaking. So it is part 2. This section lasts for about 3 minutes. In this section, we have a cue card activity or a solo activity. You have to look at the cue card or a question card for about 1 minute and prepare yourself. Then and you have to talk for about 1 or 2 minutes. In this section, the examiner does not ask questions, but you speak for two minutes. Well, this section of the IELTS speaking is considered the most difficult one because talking for two minutes is quite difficult even for the natives. Let's have a look at the cue card samples for 2023. Now, this is a latest sample. Describe a piece of technology that you find difficult to use. The cue card has three points. Like in this, name the piece of technology or what is it used for? Number two, which particular feature or function do you find difficult? Or number three, what it is to be done to make it easy? Let's have a look at one more cue card. Describe a museum that you have visited or recently visited. Now, what are the areas that you should say? Where it is, why you went there, what you particularly remember. Now, these are the two cue card samples. Let's have a look at some more topics. It can be a precious item, a special day. A sporting event or concert that you have recently visited. A special trip, journey or vacation. People who have influenced you. For example, your favorite teacher. Then your favorite book, music, movie. Or your favorite TV program as well. Then it can be an item of clothing as well. A historical building or a neighborhood in your city. Now, what comes in your mind after reading all these topics? Now, if you look at the cue card deeply or keenly, you can easily understand that the cue card is about description. The first word usually or commonly is describe. This part of the IELTS speaking test is very, very easy for you if you are good at description or describing things. The cue card or the questions of the cue card revolves around what, which, when and where. So what you have to do? You have to practice describing a person, describing a thing or describing a place. This cue card activity would be very, very easy if you practice describing a person, place or thing with what, when, where and which. Now let's discuss a list of do's over here, which helps you go through this activity easily. First of all, because you have one minute to prepare yourself, so take notes or write keywords. Cover every point. Three points have been given, so cover every point. Then point to point as you talk. I am you you know moving a cursor. You can move your finger to point every point that you are talking then use personal experience you can use you know experience of your friends or your siblings as well or if you don't have any experience you can lie as well it's okay to lie over here then expand your answers for this purpose you can use your senses like i see i taste i feel then organize your speech Two, three minutes is a standard speech time on a stage. So whatever you are speaking should have a proper intro, body and conclusion. Then whatever you have been given, either a person, thing or place, it's better to imagine it. Fine. So imagine the person, thing or place on which you are talking. Then use introductory phrases. Rather use phrases for conclusion as well. Then use transitions. It means use transitional devices like firstly, secondly, thirdly, at the end, in the meanwhile, on the contrary, 
and then at the end conclusively use these transitions in your speech and then speak loudly if you are speaking very slowly that the examiner you know couldn't listen properly your marks would have been very very less now let's have a look at list of don'ts as well don't memorize answers then don't write too much if you have been given three points write one or two words per point that is enough for you then don't panic and don't show any kind of stress because if you are panic that automatically reflects in your speech and you start fumbling then don't focus on only one point because you have three points to be focused then don't use boring words uh, like if you are using good or bad once then it is okay but if you are consistently repeating it it makes your speaking very very boring so gives a variety then don't give short answers then don't go off topic which is not possible if you are writing key words or key points at the end what is it don't worry about your accent it is absolutely okay if you have any accent or if you don't have any accent just focus on one thing that give your best last but not the least practice is required so do practice as you know practice makes a man perfect so practice with a thing person or place and with when what where and which so that this cue card activity would be very very easy so that is all for section 2 of file speaking follow for section 3 as well that's all for today take care